Well, hello, friends. This is Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom, and this is Peyton on the radio. Freaking awesome. Love having him on. Peyton, how's it going over there in the Calgary? Uh, it's going pretty good. It's looking really nice out today, so I'm enjoying myself, and it's my last day of school. I'm Woo! off for winter break. Just got to hand in my last few assignments, and I'm all done. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, it's warmed up here in Edmonton. It was cold yesterday, but we barely had any cold weather. But before you take off and you just think we're having a conversation, we're going to be doing some trades here. Uh, we are our, our good friend and confidant. I just like to say that word. I don't even know what it means. Um, <laughs> John from Off the Wall Hockey, who we have on all the time and we do, he's doing a pretty cool series. You might want to check it out. He He's doing he's taking trades for certain players in the league. Uh, he did Lion A once. We could probably do that one, one on the Lion A on this one after this. But he just did, uh, and uh, he uh, the next one he did was Dumba, and he asked all of his uh, fans, which he has like, oh, just, I don't, he can't even beat them off <laughs> with, uh, <laughs> with the stick. Uh, with and uh, but they they write in and he picks one. You're not gonna believe this. I was giddy like a squirrel girl. I'll tell you what. He picked one of mine. Yeah, Ooh. and uh, one of the I know he picked one of my trades. That was unbelievable. Uh, so it was fun. Go check. I'm not gonna tell you what it is though, because you got to go look over. And there was a bunch of them that he picked, and then he talked about it. And you know what? We thought he he's so cool. He's one of the cool kids for sure. And we oh, yeah. thought we're gonna do that too. We're gonna do that. We're gonna be try. We're gonna to try to be like John. Yeah, <laughs> it's not gonna work. But if you're gonna to try to be like somebody, be like the best, right? So right. we're gonna do. We haven't even talked this through. We haven't talked to each other at all. We don't know what team we picked. Uh, we got. I got two. Um, but if so, if we have the same one, I got another one. We'll go from there. We don't know how it's gonna work out, and this is kind of the way Peyton and I do this by the way if you haven't subscribed and all that stuff i'd highly recommend you do that right now oh hell yeah smite that like button yeah <laughs> okay thanks okay so we are going to do a dumba trade so peyton i told you to pick a team i told you yep. to make a trade and then i was going to react to your trade and then you're going to react to my trade and it's going to be so much frolic that we're not even going to be able to handle it okay so what is your trade, my friend? So I was looking over um, some stuff. Uh, I had two teams kind of going down to the wire. Um, now, I guess with Matt Dumpa, there's so many rumors about him being overpriced, and I, I definitely believe it. I think Minnesota is racking up his price. But I think the best team for uh, Matt Dumpa to go to is the Vancouver Canucks. And... Uh, I'll tell you why. They need a right-handed defenseman. Tyler Myers, I don't know what they were really thinking there. It was kind of a, a really dumb move to pick up Tyler Myers. He's an older defenseman, especially locking him up for the five years that they did. Um, and right now, they got Jordy Ben up in that top four as well. Uh, they definitely don't got the greatest look at defensive core, um, especially. They picked up Nate Schmidt, which was a really nice pickup for them. But Matt Dumpa could be another guy that could help out the future of that defense core. Problem is, they got money uh, money uh, problems. But if you really think about it, in the future for this Vancouver Canucks team, you lose Edler probably next year. You have now Dumpa, Myers, Schmidt, and Quinn Hughes, which is a pretty solid defense core for the future of this deal. Now, players that you're going to have to go back, I feel like this deal is going to have to wait a year i feel like that's what's gonna have to happen for the vancouver canucks because of the fact that they got no money uh they are getting Sutter, peterson and barchi off the books but they also have to still pay Pedersen. but the way that i can see this working is if minnesota takes someone back like a roussel or a beagle uh and take one of those players back um i think probably either a, a second and third as well in the deal but i think the way that i'm going to build this deal is have jake vertan go back with a second and third and uh, maybe a JB goal to kind of even off the cap uh, a little bit for this deal. But you might see a pick come back from Minnesota as well, going over to Vancouver to kind of even things up. Uh, but that's the trade that I built. 
Well, it should come to no surprise that we picked the same freaking team. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we did pick different players, though. So, so you say Jake for Tannen, a second. Yep. Say a second, and uh, and uh, Beagle, Jay Beagle. That's yeah. basically to second, even up the salary. Second, third Beagle. Second, third Beagle and Vertanen. That's what yeah, I'm going to go with. If I'm Minnesota, I don't think I'm going to take that trade, though. That's the difference on that. Is I, I get yeah. it, but I think they're going to be looking for centers. And my trade is, uh, and that's basically because I really like this player. And this is also based on the fact that right now, I think it's a... It's a uh, buyer's market, not a seller's market. So, like you said, it would probably. I think they're going to wait on Dumba, and he's already said he's going to. Dumba's go- Dumba's going to be going back, and they're going to probably wait till the deadline. Later on, they might be able to get more. But I had because I really think Jack McEwen is pretty much ready to move in now. I had Adam Godet and uh, Sutter. Uh, Sutter's doing Vancouver a favor. Pretty much, because they really need, if I, like, I don't think Sutter is really what they would want, but they would really want Adam Goodet. They need centers really bad there, and uh, I really like Adam Goodet. I think he still has a lot of upside right now. Um, I think he's he's stuck in that lineup, and he can't move up, so it's kind of frustrating for him. And then I would say, because they're taking Sutter, which is basically doing him a favor. Vancouver's been trying to move Sutter for a while now, and he's only got one year at four million. But because the market out there is so so stingy, I want, and this where this where it might get difficult, and maybe Minnesota might have to give something on top of it. Ole Levy, Ole Levy's been injured, and uh, it's up in the air whether how good he's going to be. Either that or Rathburn. Somebody like that. Because I, th- I think Minnesota is going to need a defenseman back as well. They're not what you would call stacked on the defensive side. And, and possibly Minnesota evens, evens up any thought of uh, well, with, with, a, with, a, with, a, with, a, with a draft pick going back in return or something like that. Minnesota's not too bad defensively, but you're definitely trading away a top four defenseman when you don't got really a replacement for a top four defenseman there in Minnesota. That's what like I mean. Saucy yeah. and Patterin are they're good, but no top six. But even if you were to pick up Yoli Olivi, like I don't know if you'll be able to jump right into that lineup and be that that top four guy. No. But like like we were agreeing on, I don't think Dumpa's gonna be traded until next year. Jonas Brodin's contract doesn't kick in until next year. You, they got a year to wait until deadline. And not just that, they got a lot of people coming off the books. Like they got Johansson, Benino, Fiala, Felino. It, I think if they were to make a trade with the Vancouver Canucks, I think they would go after a Sutter, like you were saying. I think they would go almost after those one-year deals because they've they've been doing that a lot. They would yeah. go after Sutter or Birchi, maybe pick up a young player in Adam Gaudet, which I'd even look at, but Adam Gaudet. That would be a, a perfect depth player for the Minnesota Wild, a guy that is born in America, Massachusetts. Uh, I can't even say the Massachusetts. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Massachusetts suck, but um, yeah, so yeah. American born boy. And it could be a possibly a good fit for the Minnesota Wild, too, right? You're losing out on some centermans next year with Benino and Bukestad. It, who knows that they might perform there? You could fill it in with the younger player, slot him in there. I think it could be a very smart move. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think he can be a second line center still. Like he's 24, mm-hmm. give him some time. I th- I like his skill. I like his determination. He gets lost in the defensive zone, uh, qu- quite a bit still. But I mean, he's improving. Like he shows a guy. He shows to be a player that's willing to learn and and grow. And I I just like him. I, I just it's it bothers me that he's stuck in that Vancouver lineup. To tell you the honest truth, I don't think he's well placed as a third line center and i think they know that and if they could pick up a guy like dumba using him as a carrot um i think that's something that might work out well i looked at for tannin too by the way because they've been trying to trade for tannin for quite some time and, and you, but, you know what uh, i don't think jake for wouldn't be a bad player to go over to minnesota either if you really think about it like zuccarella hasn't been that healthy lately and i mean they're probably most likely going to be playing Marcus Johansson as a centerman. I know, me and you, we all disagree on that fact. I think we all we all agree that he should be a winger, 
But we all know he's going to be playing that that wing. And you got Parise, Zuccarello. Zuccarello always gets injured. Then you got Filino and like Kaprizov. Will Kaprizov play good next year? Who knows? I mean, he's ripped it up in the KHL. Um, yeah. He's been talked about as a guy for the Calder. Um, I think I think a lot of people are saying maybe Kaprizov. I know maybe Kaprizov over Lafarine. Lafarine will he? Because uh, not like the Rangers look so great this year. The Rangers look about the same as last year, and uh, they definitely don't look like they did very well to improve themselves defensively. They picked up Jack Johnson. Um, but uh, yeah, for Kaprizov, I think he could almost be that that point per game guy. Um, yeah. Matt Dumpa, uh, I think for the Vancouver fit, Matt Dumpa would be a perfect guy for Vancouver. I think like, so too. Yeah. He, playing him alongside of a Quinn Hughes, and if uh, Travis Green is able to kind of coach Dumpa into playing a little bit better defensively, it could be a really good solid core. It really could. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree with you. And now, and like Myers would go down into the third pairing, and uh, like well, you and I are both analytics guys, and I don't need to see the analytics to know that Myers' analytics are poor. Uh, it was a very bad contract, uh, but I don't mind him in a five-six spot. I'd say he's, I, I like I'd say he has a lot of value in the five-six spot because he's got the size. That's and what he speed. did in Winnipeg. Yeah, that's where yeah. he excelled in Winnipeg. He really yeah. did. Like, I, I, when Tyler Myers was in Winnipeg, I loved him there. Like, he definitely wasn't the greatest defenseman, but the money he was making, it wasn't like it was a, a killer, right? Well, oh yeah, five point five is yeah, it was the same type of deal, five point five. But he was yeah. playing in that top six role right behind Truba. Yeah, he's one of those players that is weird though. He does have a very high value on a five six because. He there's a lot of things that he, uh, there's a lot of things he can do that mm-hmm. his opponents that he'll be playing against in a five six role usually can't do so he can stand out in those in those spots right and uh, it looks really good so I put him down there and and put Dumba up there and you got looking at a pretty darn I think Edler will come back again I think it's just at a lower lower price but uh, um, they're looking good it's looking good um, so anyways. Well, did you have another team? Yeah, I have another team. Okay, Hell yeah! Let's talk. Let's talk about and let's talk about our second team since we just since we both agreed on the first team. Watch, we'll we'll agree on the second. <laughs> team. My second team is the Winnipeg Jets. That's okay, my second good. team. We have two different second teams. Perfect. So I think because I was watching the video of John's and I did like the kind of like the deal of sending. Matthew Peralt. Now, I, I don't think it just has to be Matthew Peralt in this deal. I think maybe like Ajak Raslovich might be a guy. He's been rumored to go back. I think if you trade Peralt and Raslovich, Raslovich is a guy that honestly does not look that bad. He is getting better. He's a younger guy. He's a little bit underrated and he's had some ups and downs throughout his career. But I think Jack Raslovich will be a great player. Uh, for the the Minnesota Wild, it, it might be a replacement for Luke Kunin, and I think he, he, he even if he doesn't turn out to be very much, he could be a good solid third line player for your team. So I think that Peralt and Roslovich and probably like a third uh, for Matt Dumpa would probably make this deal. But the problem is you already have actually no little is going on the LTIR, so you're saving five point two million dollars. And that's if little stays there, which he most likely will. Yeah, the Peralt Roslovich, a third for Matt Dumpa. That's what I'm going to go with. Um, yeah, it's a Perot to even it up, and then they don't have to re-sign him anyways. Um, I can't disagree with that. Yeah, I, I'm like you. I'm with you on that. I still think Roslovich has a lot to up of upside. He's just mm-hmm. kind of been buried in that. Winnipeg roster, they their top six yeah. is pretty fantastic. And not just that, well, their top six has been like injured. Like last year, like he was playing up in the top six. It was just injuries upon injuries. So you're having like Andrew Cobb playing on the second line and Radslovich playing center because you have Shifley out of the lineup and it, they they just need to stay healthy. And that's I think that was the reason why they lost against Calgary too. And it was their injuries. Like Radslovich, I think if he's playing in a good spot and has good line mates alongside of him, I think he can do very well. Um, 
but playing alongside a line regular mate, regular line mates. yeah regular line mates that uh he could stay consistent with he did good in the ahl for the manitoba moose he just hasn't been able to translate that to the nhl which he did pretty good this year with 29 points so he's only going up from here it doesn't appear that he's a center it looks like he's probably a winger but when i've watched him fairly intently because um because I've seen him as a player that that might be getting lost on the lineup, so it would be a great for a, a great pickup for say the Oilers. Uh, although in the same division, it wasn't likely, but um, I, I think he's got a lot to give. I don't mind that deal. I think Perot is can can add a lot of value to it. He's one of those weird guys that plays a whole bunch of different roles. One of those utility players that can play all different positions. Doesn't complain. Uh, can play. He'll, you put him on the fourth line, he won't say a word. You play him 10 minutes, he won't say a word. You play him 15 minutes, he won't say a word. He just plays. Like So um, I, I like him that way. He's a good overall utility guy. He probably would end up not being re-signed. Maybe it depends. It would depend on a lot of things. But I don't mind the deal. I think it's all right. Um, the only thing is, again, I think that their Minnesota's depth, if they don't get a defenseman back, I said you levy. Um, not because of what they need now, but somebody that can play if somebody gets injured. Because Minnesota's mm-hmm. in trouble if injuries start happening. They really don't have any money, many much in their uh, prospect pool or uh, uh, minors pool that you want to bring up and say and feel comfortable with. So um, that would be about the only thing. Even like a Tucker Poolman who at least has played in the league or something yeah. as a throw-in or something like that. Okay, yeah. my team then, and I did think about Winnipeg as well my team was and it's I I have my first was way higher Vancouver was my first and then is way down after that my team was minutes it was the New Jersey Devils uh and my my thinking was that um Pavel Zaka Will Butcher and uh or, and and maybe a pick or something like that Two players that have kind of got buried in New Jersey. They really could use, I think, a new scenery. Maybe um, Will Butcher's de- defensively has has been has not progressed well, um, and uh, I th- I think they're dissatisfied with them. I also think they're dissatisfied with, with Pavel Zaka. The problem for New Jersey side of things is they don't have any centers over six feet if they trade Zaka. Well, I guess McLeod, but he hasn't really. McLeod hasn't really um, ingrained himself into the league yet. So there's not much. Losing Zaka would be a big loss for them. And they'd have to replace it some other way, I think. But they do need defense uh, still, even though they picked up Murray and, and stuff like that. And he's that type of player. He's a Lindsey Ruff type player. I think Dumbo's a Lindsey Ruff I don't Ruff know. Type. See, with this deal now, they would have only two left-handed D-men on the team. It would be your whole top four would be three right-handed de- uh, defensemen, which would that work out? Damien Severson and PK, really, they, they mostly stick to the right. And Dumpa mostly sticks to the right as well because that's that's the type of parents they got in mini. So I, I don't know if it would necessarily work for the New Jersey Devils core unless, unless you were able to get rid of PK Subban or a Damien Severson, but Severson's not that bad. Will Butcher's young, and he's playing on a horrible defensive core, which looks decent now this year with Ryan Murray being added, but still doesn't look the greatest. Matt Dumpa, I don't know if it would add very much unless he falls right in perfectly to the Lindsey Ruff plan and he plays really good defensively. But Matt Dumpa is a big-time offensive guy and be the same type of player as a P.K. Subban. You would have two big personalities on that team now. I don't know if it would, uh, I guess, work for New Jersey. Yeah, I think in the long term, Subban's probably not going to be there. I also, no. Ty Smith Ty Smith will be taking an LD spot mm-hmm. here soon. So, uh, But like I said, I wasn't as high on that trade as I was on the Vancouver one. You and I both agreed that the Vancouver Canucks would be the team right now anyways like but then uh, you can go over to John's and you can see what my actual even my other one it was equal to the uh, Vancouver one was the Islanders trade I did but I'm not going to tell you no because <laughs> I want you to go see John's video because it's fantastic 
Anyways, we pulled 20 minutes out of this conversation, my friend. <clears throat> this has been fantastic. Uh, we'll be doing a lot more stuff together. In fact, we're going to do a video right after this one. So after you finish Damn watching right. this one, go over to Peyton on the radio and we're going to be, what were we, what team were we going to do? Oh, we're going to do the Ottawa Senators. Yep. Go watch the Ottawa Senators. He's doing a series over there. Every team's off season and stuff like that. So your, your night is set right now. Just go over and watch that. Hit the subscribe and the bell. That's our full 42. Thank you, Peyton, for being on. Remember to go over to Problem. Steel Flyers, www.steelflyers.com. That is going to be all sports network. It's going to be amazing. Uh, Peyton, thanks for coming on, buddy. No problem. Have a good day, everybody. Lots of love to you.